so I did something on eBay recently that I didn't think that I would do because I tend to be very, um, I guess you can say skeptical about certain things on eBay at times. One thing I learned about eBay is that you can get a lot of something without having to spend a lot of money. And I took a chance on that idea with buying a used puzzle lot. If you guys think buying puzzle lots on eBay is a great way to save money, hit the like button. Now I didn't just purchase it off I actually won an auction and it ended up being only $15.50 for a lot of six sets and there was $10 shipping. So in the end, it was like $25.50, $26 around there, which to be honest, for that many puzzle boxes, that's not a bad deal. And on top of that, it's not like they were small sets. These were big sets. I'm going to open it now. Okay, we're open. Open for business. Is this what I ordered? Yeah, I guess it was. I don't remember. Okay. So this is the, um, I don't honestly remember. I don't have the, the open listing here. But um, the first one that I pulled out is a Buffalo Games puzzle. This is a 300 piece set and it is the Las Vegas Strip. This is going to be 18 by 18 inches when it's completed. Oh, that's fun. When I hear Las Vegas, you know what I think about? My honeymoon. We went to Las Vegas for a honeymoon and that was a blast because honestly, I didn't think I was really gonna like go nuts about it or enjoy it, but it was one of the best times I ever had. This is gonna be fun. This will be a good quickie puzzle, you know, to like kind of, you know, do when you wanna do something fast. Let's see what the next one is. Ooh, we have another Buffalo Games puzzle here. And this one is called, I'm guessing this is the series called Amazing Nature. And the name of the puzzle is Inspirations of Spring. And this is a 500 piece puzzle. And when it's completed, it will be 21.25 by 15 inches. Oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful image. It screams springtime. You have all the beautiful colors coming out of the trees and the flowers. You got some deers running around. Oh my God. You know what this is? Oh my goodness. That's my vacation lock cabin. This must be the place I go to on weekends, you know, just to get away from the everyday grind of life, you know? Oh my goodness. Is that a, what is that in the back? Is that a bear? I can't even tell. That's kind of scary. But anyways, look at those mountains back there. The color of the sky. This kind of looks like where I live. You know, even with the bears. I actually had one on my driveway the other night and he ripped my garbage apart and threw it across the other side of the road. So yeah, that's fun. Ah, we have another Buffalo Games puzzle. And this one is also, this is by Charles Wasaki. And this puzzle is called Hero Worship. It's 1,000 pieces. And when it's completed, it is going to be 26.75 by 19.75 inches. This one looks like fun. You got a bunch of airplanes all over. You got a bunch of dudes hanging around, you know, chatting and stuff before they take off. Oh man, look, he's enjoying a nice cup of coffee. Oh, I see what this is now. This is the US Mail. This is a nice image. You know, I mean, to be honest, I'm kind of scared of flying, but you know, I do it anyways. Box looks in pretty good condition. That was number three. What's number four? Let's see. <gasps> oh, we got a new series here. This is still from Buffalo Games, but this is from the Kim Norlian series, and she is known as the painter of peace and tranquility. This puzzle's name is Peace Like a River. This is 1,000 pieces, and it is 26.75 by 19.75 inches. You know what this place is? This is another one of my log cabins. I own multiple houses. And look at that, it's in front of a little lake. We got some nice little Adirondack chairs next to a fire pit, a nice picnic table. Look at those people in the background on the porch. They're just, they're just hanging out. I want to join them, you know? Actually, what are they doing on my porch? Who are these people? I love how you can see the inside of the house from the windows. That's amazing details. And according to this box, there's 10 hidden images. Now, I'm not very, I'm not at all familiar with this series, so I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be looking for aside from what I see here is a, a bird on a branch. This is some great landscaping on this lawn cabin. I wish the front of my house looked that nice. We have another Buffalo Games puzzle from the Charles Wasaki collection. And this one is called Root Beer Break at the Butterfields. This is 1000 pieces 
and it is 26.75 by 19.75 inches. What a cozy little beach house this is. I'm really loving the little plants on the roof there. I don't know how that actually happens to a house on a beach, but you know, they're there. I'm loving the look of the little boat on the side of the house there. Someone left the door open. I'm gonna have to complain at somebody for that. This is my kind of beach. Ooh, exciting. One of you guys left me a comment about this particular um, series from Buffalo Puzzles, and I didn't realize that I actually have one. And this is from the Amy Stewart collection from Buffalo Games. And this one is called Banana Split. This is 1,000 pieces, and it is also 26.75 by 19.75 inches when it's completed. All I am thinking about while I'm looking at this image is give me some darn ice cream, please. This looks amazing. I love the bright colors on this. I'm a huge on bananas, but they have to be very unripe for me to enjoy them. I do not like sweet bananas, but everything else, I'll take it. Even that waffle cone, that looks, that's good stuff. Amy Stewart looks like she's gonna be a Another one that I'm gonna you know start a collection of because I like the brightness of her images this is great I know I didn't necessarily handpick all of these puzzles but I'm gonna be honest I kind of see why I you know kind of drifted to this lot some of them are not my typical picks if I were at a store and I'd see them amongst other ones but I'm excited that I have these really all these boxes look fantastic. The only thing is, you know, they taped the boxes, which of course she had to, you know, if she's shipping all this. For $15.50, six puzzles, Buffalo branded. You know, I never thought puzzles was something that I would ever purchase used. I can't speak for all people on eBay, but this particular seller obviously cared about her stuff and, you know, clearly wanted to give them to a good home. Of course, there is that chance there might be a missing piece. The listing I do remember did say that all the pieces were there. We'll see, right? I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. But so far, my experience purchasing a used puzzle lot from eBay, so far so good. Obviously, when you're on eBay and you're looking for puzzle lots, you wanna read up on the reviews that reviews or feedback that people have left for the sellers, you know, because that gives you a pretty good idea of what you're getting yourself into. Would I purchase another auction or use a lot of puzzles? Probably. Obviously, no matter what puzzle box you get, either new or used, you're always going to have a chance of missing puzzle pieces. And yeah, even with new ones, I've heard it happen to many people. It hasn't happened to me personally, but I will definitely keep looking up on eBay and seeing what's available in terms of lots because this is a great deal. Six puzzles, $25 in the end. That's under $5 a puzzle and they look great. So I'm really happy with this purchase. Let me know what experience you've had with buying used puzzles, whether from eBay or from a thrift store. You know, I'm thinking of probably heading up thrift stores and seeing what they have to offer as well. So I'd be curious to know what your experience has been like purchasing used puzzles. But it's definitely something that I'm gonna keep looking into because who knows what other great deal you can score. I think this was a great deal. If you want to see me put these puzzles together and others that I have in my collection, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can keep up to date with that. And if you like to watch puzzle haul videos, be sure to watch my playlist and you can watch all my other hauls that I've done recently. Well, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I just realized I, I don't know where I'm going to put all these. It's a lot of puzzles.